Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a long time and there's a reason for that. My PTSD has been acting up really bad and it hasn't been a fun time for me. I've kind of been imploding. Um, that happens a lot with PTSD. Actually, I've been breaking out in night sweats. I can't sleep. I'm having nightmares. I'm literally pouring sweat all day and haven't been able to figure out what my triggers are, what's going on. And honestly, it's just from being detached from a lot of toxic people who had me believing that I was okay when I wasn't. And you get brainwashed from people. And when you're dealing with traumatic situations, you often shut off the brain part that tells you, you know, it's not okay. And then once you're back in a healthy situation, which luckily I am, um, I don't have anybody holding me down saying I have to deal with the toxic situations. So now I'm almost detoxing myself with the PTSD and it's been really hard but I'm making it some days are better than others well on top of that I started to drink quite heavily again um, it's something that I've always kind of struggled with since I was a young girl it's something that has been a coping mechanism and now that I'm going to be 28 it's completely legal to get it's easy you know but a lot of times I feel like we put a lot of weight on drinking and being drunk to fix our problems when it doesn't it usually heightens the problems and we don't really notice it and it's a problem obviously <laughs> so today is day one of me reining in my drinking so for a while I'm going to stop I'm going to quit I'm not saying it's forever and I hopefully one day I can feel like I can drink normal socially again um, without it being an issue but it has come to me that it's something I need to do. I had a very bad PTSD attack the other day and I realized the drinking wasn't helping. And you know, maybe it's time for me to deal with this on an emotional level without blocking it off. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to make a little video like this every day to kind of track the progress and how I'm feeling each day and share with all of you what it's like to quit drinking, even if only for a short period of time. Like I said, I think it's very healthy for us mentally to do anyway. I've done it before because I used to be way worse than I am now, and I think it's important to do that. So as things happened today, it wasn't a bad day. I actually haven't felt bad. I've actually been pretty happy, which, I mean, is good. I don't feel like I'm feeling big effects right now. I haven't really had the cravings as much, but I've been happier mentally today not having alcohol around me. Um, hopefully it stays that way. We'll see. I'm sure some days are going to be worse than others, but hence the reason why I want to make these videos and share them and go day by day and just see how it goes. So like I said, today's been day one. I'm getting ready for bed soon. I made it through the entire day. Didn't give excuses. I said today's the day I'm going to do it because of how bad yesterday was. Got rid of the beer I had. Made sure I didn't touch any alcohol at all. And I'm very proud of myself for that. So each day we'll see how things go and I'll keep you guys updated. And it's new videos I get to bring out. I haven't really known what to do. I don't like making snuff videos or stuff like that. I'd rather do real life. And I hope you guys enjoy it and can go on this journey with me. And maybe, just maybe, I can help some of you as well. So you guys, God bless. And I'll make you a new video tomorrow for day two.